Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna trap some moles out of my yard. And to do that, we're gonna use the Victor Mole Trap. It says it kills moles fast. This thing looks wicked. It has six sharp spikes and a big spring. Now this is not a new design. I saw an advertisement from 1901 where this trap was featured in a hardware store catalog. Any trap that's been around for that long and still being sold today must be a good design. Let's take it out of the box and see how it works. Here's what the Victor Mole Trap looks like out of the box. It has two anchor stakes on either side, a series of spikes on a plate connected to a spring. You can pull those up and down. There's a trigger system. Now this is really intended to be set in the ground, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it so you can see how it works. The idea is you pull back the spring until the plate connects here in this latch on the lever system, and that connects to the trigger, just like this. The mole will go through, be digging, lift up the dirt, and get spikes right through the body. So that's the idea. Let me go show you some mole hills in my yard and how to set it up, then we'll go try to catch a mole. I'm out here in my yard. I just mowed the grass yesterday and overnight, all these big mole hills popped up. That means the moles are very active in this area, but when it comes to catching moles with the plunger style trap, this is not what I'm looking for. They've removed a lot of dirt. The tunnels tend to be very deep. So let me show you the type of tunnels I'm looking for to catch moles with this trap. This mole activity here is a much better scenario for trapping moles. Again, this is from last night because I mowed the grass, it's fresh. The mole came along the surface, pushed up dirt, you can see the path, he took a turn here. He has a small mole hill here, and if you press this, your finger goes right in the tunnel. It's only a few inches deep. So what we're gonna do is crush a small section, press that down really good so when the mole comes back through the tunnel, they're gonna have to push up the dirt to go through, hit the trigger, and get caught. So let's set up our trap. Now that the tunnel is all crushed right there, we're gonna put in our trap with the anchors on either side and the spikes right in the middle of the tunnel. We're gonna push that down several times up and down so that the spikes are free. There we go, the trap's all set. The mole will come through the tunnel, push up the dirt, hit the trigger, the spikes will come down and we got them. Good morning, it's been a few days since we set this trap. This is what you wanna see. The spring is sprung, the lever's out, so the trap's gone off. Let's pull it out of the ground and see if we got a mole. There we go. The key to making these plunger style traps work is you have to set them right up in an active tunnel. This design's been around a really long time and it worked well. I'm posting between four and five trap videos a week. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.